Hey you guys, so I'm finally back. I don't know why I haven't like posted. I've just kind of, I don't know. I've kind of been busy. School's almost here. We've got like a week. I'm kind of ready, but I'm not. Like school would be fun if I didn't have to get up so early. Like, I hate it. And I live right by the school. So I don't really have to get up that early, but it's fine. So I got this super cute shirt. It says, here comes the sun, and it's from the refinery in Jonesboro. It's so cute, and that's the cutest little boutique. And I have these earrings. They're like the ones I had in the last video, but they're black. And I got them, I think I got them at Target, and I wore them for homecoming, and I just love these. These are my favorite earrings in the whole wide world, and they just happen to match with my outfit, so yeah. So today, I'm going to be talking about getting outside of your comfort zone. It's hard, like it's stinking hard. I have already done a blog post about this because I think I did it like two years ago when I was at beta camp because I really had to get out of my comfort zone then. And so I'm just gonna tell y'all like the pros and cons of doing it and how it has affected me in my life. So the first time I really stepped out of my comfort zone was when I gave my beta speech and ran for beta president, I had never public spoken, but public, I don't know what, you know what I mean, before. Like maybe at like, I think I did it like my grandma's retirement dinner or something, but like nothing major. I always loved to be the center of attention, but <laughs> this was unbelievable. It was nothing I'd ever experienced before. So I'm giving my first public speech in front of almost 3,000 people. I was so scared. Like, you guys have no clue how scared I was. My friend, Dawson Hill, he knows. He was, like, giving me, he was shaking my hand. And he's, I'm like, my hands are so sweaty. Like, and he's like, oh, mine are too. And he's like, whoa, you are nervous. <laughs> yeah, I was so scared. Like, oh, my gosh, it was so bad. And I couldn't practice my speech like in front of my school without laughing. My best friend Avery, I'd have to make her leave the room because I would, if I would see her face, I would laugh so hard. It was bad. I was so, so, so nervous. But I get up on the stage and I say my speech. This is the most confident I've ever been in my life. And that event has shaped me since. Like, that was the best moment in my life, probably. I'm so, 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 so thankful I did it. But I was like walking the line of wanting to quit. Like, I did not want to get up there and give it I at all. I would have given anything to not give that speech. But I knew I had to do it. And I knew it would help shape me. And that's why I did it. And I've done a lot that helps me get out of my comfort zone. So, for example, this summer, I went to like a lot of camps. I didn't really enjoy some of them. I wanted to go home, be with my friends, be in bed, not be getting up early on a schedule, learning. No teenager wants to do that. But I kept telling myself that I'm going to grow. I was getting out of my comfort zone and doing things that I wasn't comfortable doing, but I was growing. And it was hard. I wanted to go home. I missed my parents. But I grew. And that's so important. Another thing that I've done recently... I'm a bad driver, like the worst driver in the entire world. And in about a month, I'll turn 16. And so my mom set me up with her friend's husband and I'm gonna take driving lessons. And I'm gonna learn how to parallel park. Now, that sounds awful, doesn't it? I was terrified, I did not wanna do it. I wanted to stay in bed. I asked my mom, I'm like, mom, do I have to go? I learned the most that I've ever learned out of anything that day. Like, that was so beneficial to me. I'm a much comp much more confident driver. I'm so thankful I went, but I didn't want to. It was way out of my comfort zone, but I still did it. I, let's see what else I've done. So, FFA. I'm the biggest city girl y'all will ever meet. I... I'm not an animal person. I hate being outside. If I get mud anywhere around me, I will scream. I'm not kidding. And so when I joined FFA, that was way out of my comfort zone. 
Like, I had no idea what you guys were talking about. My dad's family is a farm family. Me, no, not my mom's family either. And y'all were talking about all this stuff. And I'm like, what are you guys even talking about? And so, like, I did, I gave speeches about farming. And I had no clue what I was talking about. But I researched it and eventually I got it. That was out of my comfort zone. But I grew. And there's probably a lot more that I could tell you about me getting out of my comfort zone. Way out of my comfort zone. But... I didn't want to. Nobody wants to get out of their comfort zone, ever. But the crazy thing about it is, if you don't get out of your comfort zone, you're never going to grow. You'll never experience what this life is about if you stay in that little box that you keep yourself in. I used to be one that never got out of my comfort zone. I wasn't very outgoing. I was just kind of whatever. But since then, it's like an addiction. Like, I hate it, but I love it. I've got, like, a love-hate relationship with getting out of my comfort zone. And school's coming up. And school is hard. School is, like, super hard. It's a lot of stress. And you find out who you are when you're in school. As crazy as it is, you do. And this year... I want to challenge you guys to get out of your comfort zone and do something that you normally wouldn't do. So join a club that you normally wouldn't join. Or give a speech or join a sport that you normally wouldn't. Because getting out of your comfort zone will immensely help you. And I wish that everyone would just do it. Because even though it hurts and even though it's scary, the growth you'll experience from it is crazy I just getting out of your comfort zone it's the best thing you could ever do for yourself and I wish people would just realize that so yeah I guess that's all I've got for this week I'm kind of really sad that school's about to start I'm not gonna lie like I love school but this summer just flew by and you know we've got a couple weeks left so make the most of it and have fun because we're about to have to go some hardcore school. <laughs> okay, don't forget to get out of your comfort zone because you will grow so much. Have a good week.